Good evening, I'm Haley Wilkes. Thank you for joining us. Scott has the night off. First tonight, we're learning more about why last night's community conversation with the local chapter of the NAACP and the Sarasota Police was called off just an hour before it was set to begin. The chief of police holding a press conference this afternoon to provide some details. Our team coverage tonight begins with ABC 7's Ray Collins live at the Sarasota Police Department. Ray. Haley, it turns out earlier in the day, burglars stole two rifles and lots of bullets, and the chief felt there was no choice but to call off last night's meeting. The first incident happened earlier in the day yesterday on Old Bradenton Road, an AK-47 with 1,000 rounds and two 40-round magazines were stolen. In the afternoon on 6th Street, someone stole an automatic rifle, 700 bullets. The chief says, believe it or not, gun burglaries before rallies has become a nationwide trend these days. Anytime there are protests and rallies, there are individuals that are taking opportunities to break into gun stores and, and or homes to, to take weapons and potentially use against law enforcement. I could not have lived with myself if someone would have gotten injured because there was a weapon like that. And it was in um, the North Sarasota area and um, as far as the crow flies, not too far away from where the meeting was to take place last night. Now, despite the fact there was two major burglaries involving weapons yesterday and t twice in Sarasota, the chief is not convinced that the two incidents are related. Rewards are being offered by Crime Stoppers for the arrest of the people who stole these weapons. Haley, back to you in the studio. Thank you, Ray. Last night's meeting was expected to be well attended. The community is reacting to its cancellation. ABC 7's Kate Flexter joins us now in the studio to continue our team coverage. Kate. Haley, the NAACP is also confirming tonight that the theft of those two rifles was one of the main reasons yesterday's event was postponed. The sign read canceled on the Bethel CME Church Wednesday night, just one hour before a community meeting was set to begin between the NAACP and the Sarasota Police Department. Meetings like it happening around the country after the deaths of two black men at the hands of police officers and the murder of five officers in Dallas. A police press release said the meeting was canceled due to logistics, but the chief confirming it was a security concern after an AK-47 and AR-7 rifle, along with hundreds of rounds, were stolen in two separate burglaries. I couldn't feel comfortable knowing that an AK-47 with a thousand rounds was on our streets in a close proximity to where the meeting was to take place. The NAACP confirming those gun thefts were the main reason the event was canceled, saying the concern was endangering people in attendance. We spoke to the church pastor before that was confirmed, and he said a threat was certainly a possibility. And it's possible. I mean, uh, the climate of what's going on in, in, in our country and in society in general, there's always that, that issue. It could have been some threats. He says the current climate in our country is exhausting. I'm tired. I, I'm literally tired of the evil and the hate that's going on. After the cancellation, dozens stood by waiting, eventually moving to Outreach Ministry on Martin Luther King Boulevard, where it was standing room only, the crowd overflowing into the street. Among those in attendance was Brian Ellis of Answer Coalition. We went there to Outreach Ministries and had an extremely long and empowering uh, community discussion. Ellis says that impromptu discussion shows how necessary this meeting is. You know, a lot of people in Newtown were just saying how now is the time. Now is the time to start a new day in Sarasota. Pastor Walker agrees that something needs to change, but he says it will take both conversation and action. And when we sit down and talk and rationalize and say, okay, this is what we have to do, regardless if we disagree or we agree to disagree. But the thing is, bottom line, let's come together and make, make it right. The meeting has now been rescheduled for Monday, July 25th at the Robert L. Taylor Center. The NAACP tells us that location will be safer. Haley. Thank you, Kate. Glad that has been resolved. Well, tonight, President Obama will speak to the nation about race relations, justice, policing, and equality. The president will participate in a town hall primetime event. The discussion will include police officers, students, and families affected by recent shootings in Dallas, Minnesota, and Louisiana. World News Tonight anchor David Muir will moderate that town hall. You can watch the one-hour event live right here on ABC7 starting at 8 o'clock. 
We're continuing to monitor breaking news out of Nice, France. CNN is reporting that a truck ran into a crowd, killing several people. It's not clear yet at this time how many. French media reporting that police and the truck occupants have exchanged gunfire. This was all happening during a Bastille Day fireworks event. We'll bring you any updates as they become available. Switching gears now, the summer has been especially hot recently, and it could be a preview of years to come. According to NOAA, the month of June was the warmest on record in the United States. A recent study from Climate Central claims several Florida cities, including Sarasota, will see an increase in 100-degree days in the coming years. Physicians warn the combination of heat and humidity can put the body in overdrive. The heat is having a effect, uh, different effect on everyone. Because it is Florida and it is so hot, we try to do like an activity outside then an activity inside or an activity at the pool just so they get that fluctuation. We see uh, some pretty good traffic right at the heat of the day at about 3 o'clock. So uh, I think people are looking for a break earlier. So we're seeing a rush earlier than normal. Tips to avoid heat illness include scheduling 15 minute breaks every hour and doubling the recommended one and a half liter of water per day. So drink more and Maybe just stay in the AC. That works for me. Let's head over to Bob and get more on that. And always a light colored, loose fitting clothing, the best uh, to allow yourself to uh, perspire, so to speak. And that gets rid of the heat. I tell you what, also getting rid of the heat today, afternoon and evening thunderstorms. Lakewood Ranch, get a look at what happened today. Uh, right around 430. Boy, the rains came in heavy lightning and then some clearing. But that means uh, there's not necessarily over yet as far as the lightning goes. I want to show you that in the radar picture in just a bit. An intense line of storms built up uh, from South Sarasota County and then moved through Manatee County and Sarasota. In some places, uh, did get uh, some heavy rainfall times. Now, most of the lightning is gone, but notice these blue strikes here. These are bolts from the blue, if you will. The rain has come to an end in most of this area. However, we're still getting lightning strikes, and one in particular right there in Siesta Key. And a lot of, a lot of times, people who get hit by lightning, it's after the heavy rains have moved on through. They think they can resume their activity. But if you can still hear thunder, you're close enough to getting hit by lightning. More of that well to the east, too, but I don't think this, uh, this line will have much of a chance to make it all the way over to the immediate west coast. Well, more on that and the rest of the week and weekend's forecast coming up in a few minutes. Haley. Thank you, Bob. A parking garage on Old Main Street in Bradenton looks like it will become a reality. City officials believe the 400 space paid parking garage would be the best solution to the area's parking problem. A big portion of the parking lot next to City Hall would be transformed into the parking garage, while the rest would remain as metered parking. And just like the new garage in downtown Sarasota on State Street, it could also feature some retail space on the bottom floor. We know that we have a new hotel coming on of which we have um, need some parking associated with that as well as the expansion of the museum, expansion of the marina. Construction is always a hassle, but then again, that's part of uh, any growth that goes on in a community. So if it's for the better of the community and it helps us out, I'm fine with that. The city council is expected to vote on this within the next 60 days. Construction would get underway this fall and can be, be complete by next fall if it is approved. Just days away from the Republican National Convention, still to come what local Republicans are saying about next week's big event. Plus some breaking news on the VP search. And two new development projects move ahead, one in Sarasota County, one in Manatee County. Need new windows? Buy direct from the factory. New South Window is having a sale. The more you buy, the more you save. Buy four windows, save 25%. Buy six windows, save 30%. Buy eight or more windows and save 35%. How? Because New South owns the factory and you cut out the middleman. Award-winning, energy-efficient windows and doors installed with a lifetime warranty. New South Windows are made in Florida for Florida homes by Florida workers. Visit NewSouthWindow.com or call now. Dog days of summer got you down? Beat the heat with huge summer savings during the summer clearance event going on now at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. You'll be the coolest family on the block in your all-new Chrysler Pacifica for just $27,999. Or get the lowest price ever on a new Dodge Journey, just $15,999. And right now, get up to $10,000 off a new Ram Crew Cab. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. 
Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. The kitchen is where life happens. Minnesota Flooring now offers a wide variety of beautiful quality craft made cabinetry to make sure the heart of your home reflects your style. Visit us today. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free. AndServices.com A-N-D Florida Studio Theater presents the 8th Annual Sarasota Improv Festival, July 14th through 16th. Three days of non-stop comedy with 18 groups from New York City, Atlanta, Austin, Boston, Chicago, Columbia, Canada, Orlando, and more. The laughter will be unlimited. Don't miss what Daily City says is non-stop lunacy. Featured acts will include premier improv group Impro Theater. Improv Festival passes and tickets are on sale now. 941-366-9000 or visit floridastudiotheater.org. ABC7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Suncoast residents got another opportunity today to meet the candidates for the Florida House of Representatives District 72 as well as District 73 seats. But as ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates tells us, while local races are heating up, much of the focus is still on the RNC convention. Bo Beth? That's right. All eyes are on the Republican Party convention, and that's why a lot of people are excited. This is, week is going to give us the momentum we need to carry us through November to be successful. The chairman of the Republican Party of Sarasota and state representative candidate Joe Gruders says many GOP supporters are gearing up for what is expected to be more than just a ceremonial coming together of the party. Whenever you have a difficult primary, we had 16 candidates and 15 of them lost, including two here in Florida, uh, you're going to have some hurt feelings. And what this convention does is the last remaining remnants of the Republicans out there that are still unhappy. Hopefully we'll bring, bring them back into the tent. Thousands are expected to flock to Cleveland, Ohio to officially nominate Donald Trump and his running mate of choice as the party's presidential ticket. But Gruder says the 2016 RNC will also include lots of glitz and glam. You're going to have not only some of the most important Republican elected officials come out and speak on Trump's behalf, but you're going to have, unlike a lot of other Republican conventions, you're going to have a lot of sports figures. You're going to have famous actors and, and athletes because of Donald Trump persona. But the excitement in the Republican Party goes beyond the RNC. Locally, the Argus Foundation and the East Manatee Republican Club both hosting District 72 and 73 candidate forms, not just to gain support for the races, but support for the party. I think Republicans across the board from the middle all the way over to the very far right are really embracing Donald Trump. They're excited about Donald Trump. Now, Governor Rick Scott and Attorney General Pam Bondi are among those set to speak at the RNC next week. Back to you. Thank you, Bobeth. And it appears the presumptive Republican nominee has chosen his running mate. CNN is reporting that Indiana Governor Mike Pence has accepted Trump's offer. The Trump campaign has been saying the official announcement would come tomorrow morning. Also today, Hillary Clinton is saying she will pick a, quote, very qualified running mate. The former Secretary of State was on Capitol Hill today for a lunch with Democratic senators, including several she could be considering as her VP pick. They include Senator Sherrod Brown, Tim Kaine, Elizabeth Warren, and Cory Booker. A reminder, ABC7 will have special coverage of both the RNC and DNC. ABC7's Ray Collins and Alan Cohn will be in Cleveland next week for the Republican National Convention. Then the following week, it's my, the Democratic National Convention. Myself, along with Adam Cellini and Alan Cohn, will be in Philadelphia to bring you all the latest developments. So follow us on social media. We'll be right back with our forecast. Thank you.
on the Suncoast. And across America, the news you care about is on your Suncoast News at 5. And ABC World News Tonight at 6.30. People you trust. Scott Dennis, Haley Wilkes, David Muir. First, the Suncoast. And then the world. You know what scares me? No electricity. Yeah, when this magical box suddenly stops working, I call the pros at Mr. Sparky and they send a superhero to save the day. How's it going, Pablo? It's going great, Mike. Pablo possesses amazing skill. He can perform incredible feats at blinding speed. Superhero. Couldn't have done it without you. Modest, too. Call 888 sparky Just to be clear, I don't live here. Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass & Mirror can meet your every need. For 42 years, Sarasota Glass & Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT Wingard dealer, we know how to protect your home. With everything from the PGT Wingard impact resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors, the Sarasota Glass & Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. They say good things come to those that wait. Well, you've waited long enough. You deserve to feel fabulous in your fashionable new Fiat 500X from Alfa Romeo Fiat in Sarasota. Boldly innovative, seductively stylish. Fiat gives you everything you'd expect from a capable utility vehicle, like a spacious interior and advanced safety systems, designed and built like a sexy little sportster. Don't wait any longer. You deserve to feel fabulous. Get a new Fiat at Alfa Romeo Fiat of Sarasota. If you have a suspicion for harboring prostate cancer, we have a way of diagnosing by using an exquisite instrument called three-dimensional color flow power Doppler ultrasound. Using this system, we can identify abnormalities within the prostate that you could otherwise never detect. The Detoli Cancer Center is the only center in the southeastern United States which has this technology. If you have prostate cancer, we will find it. Looks like we're getting another new neighbor. Now you could be the millionaire next door. Play Monopoly Florida Edition scratch-off games with a top prize of $5 million. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. Well, Bob, we noticed even in our own live shots that we had some yeah. weather issues. So yeah, they're around. Lightning and thunder yeah. around, too. And uh, people who uh, move here are not uh, too familiar with all the lightning that we mm -hmm. get normally. And we're starting to see that on a regular basis. I had a chance to uh, talk to a group, the newcomers of Sarasota, oh. gathered today at the Bird Key Yacht Club and over 120 in attendance, uh, learning all about Florida's weather. And I, I appreciate them inviting me to be a speaker there. They always have a great group and a great lunch, too. You know, I always get a good lunch out of this. And, uh, and I learned a lot of information that they did, we hope, about hurricane safety and also lightning safety, which is very important here along the Sun Coast. Boy, we've had some impressive shots of thunderstorms and roll clouds and shelf clouds as of late. This one today from Jeannie sent in from Sarasota, a very impressive looking line of showers moving through. And get a look at this one. This one is by far the best of yesterday's shelf cloud. Uh, Joe getting this and sending it on into our Facebook page. And boy, it looks very impressive. Almost looks uh, fake, doesn't it? But it wasn't. A lot of folks sent in photos. We appreciate all those photos coming to PIX, P I X, at mysuncoast.com. Well, the Van Wazel webcam looking out over Sarasota Bay, the Ringling Bridge right there, uh, which did get hit by lightning yesterday, uh, is showing a few showers down again moving across the coastal locations. But a lot of the activity was inland, although down in Inglewood, they saw nearly an inch and a half of rainfall there as the storms moved through. Uh, right around 3 o'clock this afternoon. Then that line worked its way northward, and for the most part, it's gone. But notice we're getting some redevelopment, at least some showers now near Venice, stretching up towards Siesta Key. The heavier storms that were around ahead near Parrish and Palmetto and Bradenton have since moved on, but that light rain still lingering from Nokomis to Venice and also up toward Siesta Key. There's a chance you can still see an isolated lightning strike here and there. Rainfall totals have been impressive. I mentioned near Inglewood. Uh, some areas getting up over an inch of rainfall. In fact, nearly two inches uh, just to the northwest of Tarpon Point and to the west of Warm Mineral Springs. Elsewhere, uh, two inches east of I-75 near Fruitville and uh, also east of Bee Ridge Road. 
uh, some heavier rainfall. And right there at the junction of I-75 and State Road 64 near Heritage Harbor, and nearly two inches of rain in just a short period of time. Yeah, no worry of heat index now. It was at 98 just about an hour and a half ago, but things have cooled down. That's one of the benefits of these afternoon showers and storms has a tendency to cool things down quite nicely. 93 degrees, that was our high today. 96, the record set back in 1964. This morning's low was at 75 and no rain officially at the airport, although they did get a brief shower here just in the last 15 minutes or so. We'll update at the 11. 75 degrees currently in Jacksonville. It's cooled 92 in Orlando. It's 89 in Miami and temperatures where it's rained has come down. The temperature has dropped down into the mid 70s in Lakewood Ranch, and upper 70s in Venice Gardens. At Brayton Beach still warm at 87 degrees. We keep showing this dry. This is the water vapor content in the atmosphere, and this is all African dust, if you will, moving in our direction, and it may be in place Monday and Tuesday of next week. We're getting a little upper level low, which is bringing some of that drier air into southeast Florida. So maybe not as many storms tomorrow. Things will quiet down. In fact, this forecast model is depicting that tomorrow afternoon and evening uh, doesn't show as many storms around. There'll still be a few, but not nearly as many as we've seen over the past couple of days. And I think uh, the same holds true for Saturday and Sunday. They'll still be around in the afternoon and evening. But then on Monday and Tuesday, that larger area of dry air should start to move in and have an influence and impact on our weather. 88 now in Detroit. It's hot there. 85 in Denver. 82 degrees in Wichita. Salt Lake City at 93. 96 in Dallas, 95 in Houston. Yes, it's hot over the Southern Plains states and 94 now into uh, Atlanta. Southeast winds turn to the south at 5 to 10 knots. A light chop on the bays and inland waters. The water temperature now 90. And the forecast does call for a few scattered showers in the afternoon tomorrow. High tide 11-12 and a low tide at 329. Sunset at 827. Evening storms, still some showers around and the rain chance is dropping though to 20% for the rest of the evening. Partly cloudy skies, scattered storms in the afternoon. One or two of those could be strong to severe. So we'll watch that for you. The rain chance is uh, at 40% now, a little less, but still uh, less, I think, on Monday and Tuesday as some of that drier air entrains into our area. And then we should be back uh, to basics by Wednesday and Thursday. Haley? Thank you, Bob. A planned development near the water in Cortez gets approval from the Manatee County Planning and Zoning Commission today. Whiting Preston's Peninsula Bay development would be located just north of Cortez Road between 103rd and 119th Street West on Palmasola Bay. It would feature more than 1,900 homes, a hotel, a marina, a boat ramp, and 90,000 square feet of commercial waterfront space. The proposal now awaits a vote from county commissioners in September. And in Sarasota County, commissioners have approved plans for a medallion home development to build new homes at the now closed Gulfgate Golf Course. That's according to the Sarasota Herald Tribune, which reports that the Gulfgate Community Association, which had strongly opposed the development, ended up greatly softening its stance after negotiating with the developer. One of the sticking points was plans for gates around the development. Those will reportedly no longer be included. All Faiths Food Bank unveils its latest tool to help the community. Straight ahead, how the organization plans on using this unique bus. Pain after the Dallas attack, anger over police shootings, a nation divided. Tonight, right before the president hears from the people in a historic ABC News town hall, we're in the nation's capital to help kick off this important national conversation on World News Tonight with David Muir. Uh, they, they care. They, they take the time to understand you, take the time to understand your case. There's no better satisfaction to me than to see a client who is happy because of the job we've done for them. It's really actually very comforting to know that there's someone that you've heard of and you're getting recommendations about that you can turn to when you have a problem. I felt like I had a partner in this and uh, he was gonna be by my side. Is your mop a dirty, disgusting mess? You need the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System, the only mop and bucket that spins the dirt away. A system that cleans practically anything and everything with super absorbent microfiber. Dip it in the washer side and the mess releases into the bucket. Then place it in the dryer side and push on a pedal. You get a clean mop head that's practically dry and ready for more. And your hands will never again touch a dirty, disgusting mop. The heads are washable and reusable. Get the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System for just two payments of $19.99. You'll also get 
a Sticky Buddy, the reusable sticky roller that picks up pet hair and lint and washes clean in seconds. You can take advantage of our two-for-one pick-it-up special and get a second Spin Mop set. Just pay additional shipping and fee. And we'll upgrade you to free priority handling. So don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-394-1524 to get your Hurricane Spin Mop double offer. So hurry and call 1-800-394-1524. Call now. At Sunset Subaru in Sarasota, it's all about getting more for your money. More years, more miles, more 2016 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus winners than any other brand. Stop by to see our new state-of-the-art showroom today, and you can lease the most award-winning small SUV on the planet, a new 2016 Subaru Forester, for just $2.29 a month, complimentary maintenance included, at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Come uncork your inner artist at Painting with a Twist. Bring your favorite bottle of wine and appetizers and enjoy an evening out with friends to celebrate any special occasion. It's perfect for a girl's night out, birthday parties, or a fun date night. Painting with a Twist offers two or three hour classes that are instructed by local artists and there is no experience required. We now have two convenient locations in Sarasota and Bradenton. Visit our website to view our calendar and schedule your next party today. It has an odd name, but make no mistakes about it. This cause is very important. All Faiths Food Bank introduced a new vehicle to its fleet today. The Eat This bus will help the organization continue providing food and proper nutrition to children in remote and rural areas of Sarasota and DeSoto counties. It's colorful. It's fun. Uh, we put it together so we can attract the children. We can go to community events. We can go to school events uh, and hand out food to them, uh, whether it's backpacks, or fresh produce. Uh, that's what we want to do. We want to reach the children. All Faith says more than 21,000 kids are on free or reduced lunch during the school year, so it's crucial to make sure they're given a helping hand during the summer. A great way to get the word out. Uh, mm -hmm. Word out is that we have some light rain still lingering around. Uh, the temperatures have cooled, though. That's what's nice. 75 yeah. degrees, 76 degrees around town. All right, and updates coming on that uh, the car or the truck that drove into the crowd in Nice, France. We'll see you at 11. Tomorrow at 4 on Suncoast View. I'm Stephanie Roberts. On Suncoast View, one of the top improv troops in the country gives us a preview, plus how to get a celebrity-style kitchen and Apollonia Mediterranean Grill. Tomorrow at 4 on Suncoast View. Attention, this is an important message for anyone who had an IVC filter placed to prevent blood clots from traveling to their heart or lungs. Did your IVC filter move, break, or cause organ damage? The FDA warns that IVC filters may cause serious complications, such as heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, even death. If you or a loved one suffered serious complications, call IVC Filter Helpline now. You may be entitled to compensation. IVC filters are designed to prevent blood clots. If your IVC filter moved or broke and you suffered heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, or if a loved one died as a result, call IVC Filter Helpline today. Our network of experienced attorneys is ready to fight for you. You'll pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor. Call today for a free confidential consultation. Don't fight this alone. Call IVC Filter Helpline now. Please call 800-897-6764. That is 800-897-6764. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Getting older shouldn't mean giving up all the things she loves to do. It should just mean, well, finding new ways to do them. Right at Home's professional team thoughtfully selects caregivers to provide help with personal care, housekeeping, and of course, meal preparation. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, and it tastes good too. <laughs> we can provide the right care right at home. 
They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com.